Hallelujah. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. God bless you, everybody. Uh, once again, good evening, everyone on the chat room. Those of you who are watching on Facebook Live, we want to thank God for your life. Thank you for uh, being part of this program. Thank you for joining us. Uh, today is the second day of the Maintain Your Steadfastness in Christ conference. We thank God for how he started with us yesterday. What a powerful moment we had yesterday with Pastor Shui on Ladiju. And I trust God that it's going to be another awesome night in the presence of God. So God has prepared for us various vessels that he's going to use to bless us. And I tell you, Ah, uh, please uh, uh, meet your friend. If there's any time we need to draw closer to God, I believe it's a time like this. So tonight, we are getting ourselves ready to prepare your heart, prepare your mind, your spirit, your soul, your body, be mentally allowed to receive what God has in stock for you. And so, and the, the, the time of prayer, the time of the word, music, every way God is going to bless you tonight. I'm so persuaded that we are in the presence of our God the Father. So to lead us into the presence of God tonight in prayer is one of our brother and minister, brother Aki, people, brother Aki, over to you. Uh, as you bring us into the presence of God. Thank you, thank you sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you, amen. Sir. Amen. Let us, uh, amen. Let us begin to come before the King of Kings, the I am that I am. Let us begin to ask that tonight that God will be in our presence. He will amen. meet all our needs and that he will show himself mightily. Amen. And he will use this meeting and this forum, this conference to advertise his power and his glory. Let us in the name of Jesus, we pray that you are going to use this moment, Lord, to baptize your power. You will meet us that which you add in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We are grateful, oh Lord, we yes. are grateful, Father, Most we are grateful, oh Lord, Lord, hallelujah, for all you have done, Hallelujah, we, we are grateful. grateful. We are grateful, Father. We, we are grateful. We are grateful, Father. We, we are grateful. Oh, oh Lord. Amen. Brethren, I don't know about you, but I'm grateful to be in this conference. I thank God for life. I thank God for making us living souls. We know what has been going on in our in, in the world, in our nation since the beginning of this year, through this pandemic. And it is definitely worth giving God the, the, the glory and thanking him for being alive today. Because over 170,000 people or so in America have died from this uh, pandemic. So, you know, we should be grateful. God, you are so good. Blessed be your name. God, you are so good. Blessed be your name. In heaven, you are the Lord. On earth, you reign forever. Oh, God, oh, Lord, how great, great thou art. Blessed, Blessed be 
name. One more time, one more time, one more time. God, Lord, you are so good. Oh, Jesus, blessed be your name. Lord, you are so good. Mm, blessed be your name. In heaven, you are the Lord. On earth, you reign forever. Oh, Lord, our great God. Blessed be Amen. Amen. Brethren, amen. Brethren, in Psalm 71, verse 21, it says, Thou shalt increase my greatness. Yes. And comfort me on every side. Brethren, I pray in the name of Jesus that as a result of our participating in this conference, the Lord will increase our greatness and He will comfort us on all sides. He will meet us at a very point of need. Amen. Yeah. Brethren, let us. Pray for, as a result of attending this conference, for profitable knowledge. Let us pray that we, we, we profit from our taking time and sacrificing our, our time to mm. attend this conference. Let us pray that the Lord will come upon our lives in a mighty new way. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are King of Father, we come upon our lives. Father, Lord, we pray, Lord, that as you know that we are partaking in this conference, Father, Lord, that it will be profitable to us in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let your power, your knowledge come upon our lives, oh Lord, as a result of our partaking in this conference. Lord, as a result of our coming, Father, bless us, oh Lord. Increase our knowledge. Enlarge your name, oh Lord. Lord, increase our knowledge. Come upon us in the mighty name of God. Father, Lord, in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen, amen. brother as a, as 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 a result of partic participating in this conference let us ask god to give us uncommon advancement let, like, let us ask that uncommon favor uncommon advancement will come upon our lives as well as our participation and our learning in this in this amen. conference let us pray. Heavenly Father, our God, in the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, as a result of our participation in this conference, Father, let us have a common advancement, a common favor. Father, Lord, let it come upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, let your common favor, your common anointing and our and advancement come upon us as a result of our maintaining our steadfast Lord, Jesus. Our in Christ. Father, Lord, let us experience a new dimension of you, Lord. Our common view, our common advancement. That is only you can do, Father, Lord. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let us experience it. Lord, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Brethren, we're going to ask the Lord to open the eyes of, of our understanding as we receive the word today. Amen. Let us ask God to open our eyes so that we can see and understand and comprehend that which he is teaching and imparting into us today. Let us also ask that as we hear the word, we will not hear the voice of the enemy. Let us Amen. ask that we will not be distracted. And we we'll focus and benefit from what we're about to receive tonight. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, my King and my God, Father, Lord, we pray, Lord, that tonight, Lord, you open the eyes of our understanding. Father, Lord, let us see, understand, and comprehend that which you are going to give to us tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, let it bear fruit in our lives, a hundredfold, a thousandfold, a millionfold in the name of Jesus. Father, as we hear your word, do not let us hear the voice of the enemy. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, let us hear you and hear you clearly. Father, Lord, let your word sink into our souls, oh Lord. Father, Lord, we pray, Lord, that tonight, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, in, Jesus. in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Brethren, let us begin to, 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 to saturate the heavenlies 
Let us begin to soak this 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 conference tonight's conference tonight's meeting in the blood yes, of Jesus. Yes. Let us ask God to take control and take over of everything we will do here tonight. Let it be hundred percent of Him and let it be zero percent of us. Let us ask God to scatter and destroy yes, any yes. conspiracy fashioned against tonight's meeting. Let us pray. Father, Lord, arise and destroy him. In the name of Jesus, yes, we need to speak. You will show for yourself and you destroy every power of the in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Brethren, let us, let us commit. Let us commit the, the man of God who is going to be sharing the word with us tonight into his, into his heart. Let us ask that the Lord will speak through him. Amen. Let us ask that, that he will be 100% of God. Amen. Let us ask that he will, he will impact our lives and we will never be the same again. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, King of God. We pray that in your servant, you are doing this for us to we have prayed in Jesus mighty day we have prayed brethren let us arrest and bind the spirit of confusion from our yes. meeting tonight let us let us ask the lord to 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 to, to bind all of all of us together in love father let us ask that lord, the, the the love of god will, will reign supreme in tonight's meeting and amongst us in the name yes. of Jesus. let us buy the spirit of confusion as well that tonight there will be no confusion in our meeting let us pray every confusion will take authority over the spirit of the lord we declare your spirit, we declare your presence, we declare your word in the name of Jesus. We declare your power, we declare your manifold in the name of Jesus. The Christ will rule and reign over us by your spirit, oh God. We want to see you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, yes, Lord, in the name of Father, we teach you that this yes, we declare by your spirit, break out of the yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Mighty in Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. In Amen. Jesus, mighty. Let us pray for open heavens in tonight's meeting. Let us pray that the Lord will open the heavens and pour down His anointing. His mercies and his blessings into all of us in this meeting tonight. Let us pray. Yeah. Heavenly Father, Father Lord, we declare there will be an open heaven tonight. Father, Lord, that you will pour out your spirit, your power, Father, your grace, Father, your presence, Father, Lord, upon every one of us tonight. In the name of Jesus, le isoto robo kusata ya tata ta, re idemi do zoni enkrekete yegeda, mundo inke di embro do zole e pari e demiara, magra gata gata gasoto luke perida, re In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And brethren, finally. Finally, let us pray that tonight that we, we shall be blessed 
as a result of our attending tonight's meeting, let us ask that God should bless us. Let us pray that God will enlarge us. Let us pray that God will strengthen us. Let us pray that God will keep us from evil and keep evil far away from us. Let us pray that by the end of tonight, when we share the grace, let us know that we, we, we would have come and would have met the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, my King and my God, we pray, Lord, that as a result of our coming here tonight, Father, Lord, bless us, O Lord. Father, enlarge us, O Lord. Father, strengthen us, O Lord. Father, keep us from evil, keep evil far away from us, O Lord. Father, by the time we share the grace here tonight, Lord, Father, Lord, let us know that we came and we met you and we, we made a difference. Father, Father, by the end of this tonight's meeting, O Lord, tonight's session, let us have cause to glorify you. Let us have cause to in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Heavenly Father, our, Heavenly Father, our King and our God, we yes, Lord. tonight, Lord, we give you the honor, we give you the glory. Yes, Lord. We give you the adoration. Father, Lord, we pray in the name of your son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you and you alone take all the honor, you take all the glory, and you take all the adoration. Amen. Father, Lord, we thank you for who you are. You are the I am that I am. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the lily of the valley. You are the rose of Sharon. You are the bright and morning star. You are our Ebenezer. You are thank our you. great physician. Your name is Elohim. You are God Almighty. Yes, your name is El uh, your, 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 your are the commander of the heavenly host and the armies of yes, God. Lord. Father, Lord, we thank you for who you are. Amen. Father, Lord, we thank you for making us living souls today. Father, thank Lord, we thank you, Lord, for bringing us together tonight to, to yes. study at your feet. Father, Lord, we pray, Lord, that tonight, Lord, open the eyes of our understanding. Yes. Father, open our ears to hear you and hear you clearly. Father, Lord, for your servant that will minister to us, yes, Lord, Lord, put your words in his mouth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, my King and my God, once again, we commit the rest of this conference tonight and yes, beyond Lord. into your hands, Lord. Father, Lord, glorify yourself, glorify your son, Amen. and glorify your spirit. Father, Lord, Lord. by the end of this conference, yes, Lord, Lord, let each and every one of us have a reason to come before your assembly and testify, Amen. Lord, Amen. of your goodness and what you have done and Amen. the things you will do. Heavenly Father, my King and my God, as a result of us learning to maintain our steadfastness in Christ, Father, Lord, open doors for us in the name of Jesus. Those doors that only you can open, Lord, open them for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Once again, Lord, we give you all the honor, we give you all the glory, we give you all Thank the adoration. You, Thank you, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless you. All right, Minister Shell, over to you uh, for the praise, worship, and the aim. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's program. I pray that we shall all be blessed in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. Uh, tonight, uh, we're going to do things a little bit differently. Um, we're just going to worship the Lord like we've never done it before. You know, he deserves all our praises. He deserves all we can give to him because he's the king of kings. He's the Lord of Lord. He's the Alpha. He's the Omega. It doesn't matter what you are going through. That does not change God. Whether you praise him or not, he's still God. Whether you like it or not, he's still God. Whether you sleep and wake up or you don't, he's still God. So we are here in his presence. We have to praise his name. We are not physically together. We are in our homes. So I want us to connect your heart to God's heart tonight. I want you to be in spirit as we worship his holy name. We are going to start with the song that Uncle Joaquin sang earlier. He says, we are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord, for all you have done for us. Hallelujah. We are grateful, oh God. We are grateful. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful. We are grateful. Oh, 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 oh,
today I was trying to find a concrete meaning of the name Jehovah and the name Yahweh and the name Yahweh means he says the meaning of the name Yahweh has been interpreted as who he who makes that which has been made that's what Yahweh means Yahweh is the name of God so we are going to praise him tonight we're going to say you are Yahweh you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, 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 Alpha and Omega. Amen. Amen. I don't know about you, but the love of God is real. Amen. The love of Christ is real. Yes. The love of our Savior is real. I'm not sure what you're going through. You have to hold on. You have to hold the fault. You have to stand fast. Tonight, we are going to say, Jesus, you love me too much, oh. Too much, oh, too much, oh, yes, yes, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, yes, yes, love, oh. Jesus, you love us too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, as as love, Jesus, you love us so much, oh, too much, oh. Jesus, you love us so much, oh, too much, too much, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I just want you to let him know that he's all that matters tonight. Yes, hallelujah. Call him, call him his name. Yes, he Lord. Lord. You are all that Mighty God, you are all that matters. Hello, yes, him, you are all that matters. Yes, in Lord. our life, in our church, in our homes, you are all yes. that matters. Yes. In our marriages, oh God, you are all that matters. But we, give you all yes. we give you all Thank the honor. We give you all the honor. You alone are toward the Lord. There's no one like you, Lord. Yes, Lord. There will never ever be anyone yes. like you. Father, we bless you all the day for your name, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory for your mercy. Hallelujah. We thank you, O oh Lord, for your grace, O oh Lord. We thank you for blessing. We thank you for your favor. Lord, you are all that matters, Lord. You are all that matters, Lord. You are all that matters. 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 I'll put you in front, in front of my melody. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two, you and I, Jesus, you are all the matter. 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 You are all the Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 The love of God is all that matters. That's yes. why we're gathered. 
that's why this program is to just to encourage us to hold forth to stand firm Hallelujah. to encourage us to stand firm in the lord god our jesus christ Amen. who is the one that matters i'm not sure what you're going through i'm not sure what you're passing through but god is all that matters i want you to focus all your attention on on him and on him only don't focus on your problem because it's bigger than all your problems. Mm. It's bigger than anything. That, you know, there's a song that says, it's bigger than all my problem. It's bigger than everything. Mm -hmm. God is bigger than all, 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 all things. So tonight, I pray that the problem that comes here to, with you tonight, that arrived here with you tonight, will never go back with you in Jesus' name. Amen. I can't hear you say amen. amen. The problem that arrived with you tonight will not amen. go with you again in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. In Jesus' wonderful name we worship. Amen. 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 Praise amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great and an awesome God. Yes. If you believe that in your heart, if you believe that this Jesus Christ that we are talking about, even though you have not seen him physically, but you believe that he lives and he lives forever, mm -hmm. shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! hallelujah. Amen. 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 Now we are going to go over to, to the hymn, and I'm going to do a screen share to to show the lyrics. Yeah, bro. I hope everyone can see the screen. Yes, sir. <laughs> into the presence of God. And uh, before I bring um, our guest minister, who is going to be ministering to us, 
uh, in song tonight. Uh, I just want to thank God for every one of you and trust God that he who has begun a good work in you we complete it and perfect it in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, 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 thank God for another night. Yesterday was uh, a powerful night. We started in the presence of God. And I tell you, hello, uh, please, anybody, if you are not talking, just uh, mute yourself, except uh, you are singing or you are sharing something with us. Uh, I want to thank God for yesterday how the Lord started with us. We thank God for Pastor Shei. Uh, and I'm just doing an highlight of what this conference is all about. Uh, this conference is about believers encouraging us to maintain our steadfastness in Christ, what he has called us to do. And so before I bring out uh, this minister in song and before the man of God will minister, I, I want you to read with me, turn with me in your Bible, First Corinthians chapter 15. This is the day two of the Maintain Your Steadfastness in Christ Conference. And I tell you, God is encouraging us, challenging us as believers to be able to maintain our call to stand for Christ irrespective of whatsoever might be happening in our life, whatsoever challenges you are facing, God wants you and I to remain steadfast. Steadfast in our faith, in our love, in our walk with Him, because that is the only way by which we are going to overcome. The Bible says in the last days, the love of many shall wash through, peril your stand, we come, men's heart, failing them, things are not going their way but god is encouraging us the purpose of this conference is to make sure that you maintain your roots you are rooted you are grounded in christ but no matter what you face no matter what happened nothing is going to separate you from the love of christ we had from the first speaker yesterday he said what shall separate us from the love of christ shall it be tribulation shall it be death persecution he said none of these things should be able to move us and these things are moving men Men are leading Christ because things are not going their way. Men are forsaking Christ because they don't have breakthrough. They don't have success. Men are putting their hand in a lot of iniquity because things are not going their ways. People are compromising their faith. But the whole essence of this conference is to teach you not to compromise your faith, to remain steadfast. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Uh, if you have it there, somebody can read for me online. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. First Corinthians, I uh, was reading for me, uh, brushing what your excellency, if you're there, please, can you read? First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Do you have it? All right, I don't want to waste time because we have a lot to cover. Therefore, my yes, beloved, sir. First Corinthians 15, uh, yes, read it. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay, First Corinthians 15, 58, sir. Yes, ma'am. Okay, my, I want to change it to King James Version. Hold on, Your Excellency. Officially, you are now my number one Bible reader. Make sure you're always in service. Okay, sir. And keep your voice alive. <laughs> okay, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. King James. Yes, Therefore, my beloved brethren, mm -hmm. be ye steadfast, unmovable, always, <laughs> ab sir? Continue. always abounding in the work of the Lord. Wow. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on now. Yeah, you see that? Any other translation? I said, my beloved brethren, 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Be ye steadfast, unmovable. Let nothing shake you. Like we used to say in Nigeria, no shaking. You know, those are one of the parallels. No shaking. Nothing is moving me. Always, always, not for some time always abounding in the works of the Lord for as much as you know that your labor in Christ, your faith, your worship, your devotion is not in vain in the Lord. Any other translation, and that will be the last one we are going to take, any other translation of the same scripture? That first the message, Bible. message Bible. Yes, ma'am, read on. With all this going for us, my dear, dear friend, mm. stand your ground. And oh, don't hold that. Hold on, hold on, Sister Christine. I like that. How many of you have heard that in, in Florida? You said, stand your ground. So when the enemy is trying to fight you, stand your ground. 
When people are trying to persuade you and say, leave church, stand your ground. When people are trying to tell you, you don't need to give your tithe, you don't need to give your offering, you don't need to go to church, you don't need to pray. The Bible says, do what? Stand your ground. Somebody unmute yourself and say something loud. Let the person next to you here. Tell him or her. No shaking. I will stand my ground. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. No shaking. No shaking. No shaking. Standing my ground in Christ. And I'm standing my ground in Christ. Can I have somebody shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Christine, finish that scripture and then we bring pastor. Stand your ground and don't hold back. Throw yourselves into the work of the master. Confident that nothing you do for him is a waste of time or effort. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I love that translation. Throw yourself into the work of the master and be confident that whatever that you do for him is not a waste of time. Don't let anybody deceive you that you're going to church is a waste of time. Your praying is a waste of time. You're honoring God, honoring your, the man of God over your, over your life. Obedient to righteousness. Don't let anybody tell you it's a waste of time. Everything that you are doing, sir, is not a waste of time. Service. Is that the end? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. People of God, without wasting much time, we have a vessel that God has prepared for us. Uh, I, and I tell you, we have been blessed by this conference. And I tell you something, I don't know about you, but I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm prepared to receive everything that God has in stock for me. And I know that God has prepared various vessels. At the right time, I'm going to be our guest minister. But before Pastor Yemi come on and before I introduce him, I want us to put our hand together and welcome uh, the deputy minister in JHA and the music minister uh, is one of the assistant pastor in, in Jesus House, mm -hmm. Silicon Valley, assistant pastor Yemi as the senior, uh, the senior pastor. Put your hand together, Jesus House, and your, oh my God. Am I, am I trying to get Pastor K to, Pastor Yemi will fire me. No, sir, I'm still loyal, Pastor Yemi, no. It's a slip of thought, forgive. <laughs> Let's put that together as we welcome Pastor K. Put, please unmute yourself. Let's celebrate Pastor K. Mm -hmm. Bless you, Pastor K. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise God. Let us be my God. Yes. Let the rod of my salvation be a God. Somebody sing with me tonight. The Lord reigns. Let the rod of my salvation be a God. Your name, 
Just wave your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to do some two or three songs that is that God laid in my heart, you know, when I heard about this meeting. And I'd like you to just plug in with me. Amen to Jesus. Please can you hear me? Yes, sir. Right. Why I love this program is because it's not, when I heard about the vision, God someone shared with me, I realized it's not just regular meeting. God, give me, give me bread, give me butter kind of meeting. It's a meeting of the believer. It's a meeting of revival. My sis is a meeting of revival. That's why I want to sing this song. It says, no foreign God will take your place. No foreign God will take your place. Yes, God. No foreign God will take your place. Is you the rhino? Is you the rhino? Is you the rhino? No foreign God would take your place. No foreign God would take ah, your, my God, oh Jesus. No foreign God would take your place. Is you the right love? Is you the right love? Is you the right need? Is you the right one? Is you the right one? Is you the right need? Is you the we long for in a place in a season like this, oh God, in situation like this, we declare Lord, no foreign God will take yes, your place the God of America. No yes, foreign Lord. God will take your place. No foreign God will take your place. Is you the I want? I need more of you. Is you the I want? And as the deep parted from yes, the waters of my soul, longer love. My God, you alone are my heart. Desire and alone to worship you. Yes, God, you alone are my strength. Make my speed. Let me 
People of God, before I bring Pastor Yemi, uh, 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 triumphant voices, unmute uh, yourself, uh, Pastor K, before you leave, uh, uh, while you're still there, just, just speak. Let's take that song one more time. I need no other, other Tonight, you need no any other plea. 
It is enough that Jesus died for you and I. It is enough that Jesus came. It is enough that he gave his life. It is enough that he opened a doorway and access to the throne of the Father. That when you have anything, you can come to his throne with boldness and receive grace and mercy to help in the time of need. When the storm of life comes, you have a place you can run to. You have an anchor where you can run to. The storm may blow, the wind may, may, may blow, rain may fall, but you have a savior where you can never be thrown away. Jesus is the solid rock, is the anchor for your life and for my for my family, for your family, for your business, for your life. Everything you do is the rock upon which we stand. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Thank you. All my backup, please unmute yourself. I need you people to, when I say something, I need you to be, respond, okay? And, and uh, so that we, we, we can feel the atmosphere and that we are together. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Pastor Lee, we, we want to thank God for your life. Thank you for bringing us this wonderful song and ministering to us. Thank you because you are not an entertainer. You are a minister of the gospel. I, I remember many years ago, they asked somebody in Nigeria, one of the popular musicians, he's, he's a Christian musician, and they asked him, are you, a, are you a gospel artist? Or are you a gospel minister? He said, no, I'm not a gospel minister. I'm a gospel entertainer. So when you are an entertainer, you can do anything. When you're a gospel minister, there are some things you cannot do. You bring the presence of God. And I thank God because you are a gospel minister. Let's celebrate, Pastor King, one more time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. People of God, the moment that we have been waiting for is here. Uh, and I want to introduce to us the servant of God. Uh, you, some of you, you've known him, some of you, you've met him before, some of you, you have not met him before, and um, some of you, you are, you are watching online for the first time, and I want to tell you that the servant of God, uh, by the name of Pastor Yemi Consola, is a veritable man of God, and after graduating from college, Pastor Yemi got so many desired jobs, in the, especially in the banking industry. Pastor Yemi is married to Pastor Comfort Uli Kosola, and they are blessed with two lovely children, Melody and Toluani. Pastor Yemi worked as an external auditor for a reputable firm, but his love for God's work never diminished. He started his ministerial journey from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Dominion Sanctuary in Akme, Ikeja, Lagos, Nigeria, 1996. He later joined the Glory All Parish also in Lagos. Demonstrating a spirit of excellence in the secular job, and because of his multilingual ability, he was hired by a French company. Pastor Yemi speaks French fluently and speak English fluently. He speaks Yoruba fluently, and he also speaks every language. Labagaba Shabaya. So you should, so you know, he is is multi talented. And uh, because of his ability to speak French, the company hired him and relocated him to Lume, the capital of, um, of the city of Togo in West Africa. Arriving there, he looked for a Bible believing church to be part of it, but was directed by God to continue to be part of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. He later became the parish pastor of the Epcotter Church of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Togo and also the national youth pastor for the entire country of Togo. Pastor Yemi is a worshiper, a prayer warrior, a teacher, a husband, a preacher, and an author, an encourager, and a man of faith. His desire is to see believers take their rightful position in destiny by bringing out the presence of God into every situation through worship and praise with Father and prayer. He loves to sing and dance for the Lord. According to him, I used to dance for the devil in the past, and I was good at it. Winning competition now, I dance for the Lord and I love it and I will excel at it. And I want, also want to let you know that through the grace of God upon his life, he was the man that God used to give me an entrance in this city, in this nation. And I thank God that ever since I've met him, things have never been the same. God using and God is still using him for other men of God, bringing vessels into this place. It's a blessing. I tell you, Pastor Yemi is uh, the presiding pastor 
I like to call him the Bishop and the Pope of Jesus House Antioch of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. People of God, unmute yourself with a clap offering shout unto the Lord as I will Lord as for you. All the way from Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Believers were first called Christian. In Antioch, everybody is a Christian, whether they go to church or not. Welcome the Bishop of Antioch, Jesus of Silicon Valley. We celebrate Hallelujah. 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 Uh, Lord bless you, Pastor Bayer. Can you guys hear me clearly? Yes, sir. Am I, can you? All right. Thank you. You know, if uh, Apostle is, uh, you know, introducing a parish pastor, you know that Dave. that's that's serious. Forgive. <laughs> Mercy. Apostle Solomon. No. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pastor Bayo. Um, you, I'm not taking this for granted. Thank you for inviting me and thank you for this opportunity. Uh, Pastor Yemisi, thank you so much uh, for bringing us again to, uh, to share the word of light and the word of faith with the people. Uh, when Apostle called me that uh, I'm going to be speaking in this conference, you know, I, I look at the the, the team of the uh, of the program, and like PK said, it, it's not a program whereby we want to come and learn five ways of becoming, you know, prosperous, ten ways of breakthroughs. You know, is a is a is a is a program or a conference that is dealing with our soul, mm. how we can be fat spiritually, not Amen. only our bank account Amen. being fat. Or we having all the things of this world that are ephemeral. Mm. Yeah. The devil is a liar. All right. Pastor, we lost you there. I think the internet, yeah, okay, you are back. Your internet was going off. So we lost you, I think, for one 30 seconds there. Oh, wow. Yes, sir. You are back. Am I back now? Yes. Okay, praise God. That was how it was. You want, maybe you want to change the network that you are on. He's saying that PIBYO bandwidth is low. It's so low? maybe yes, he said it. So you want to change uh the network. Ah, I, I have only one network here. I don't know. <laughs> we command the network to come back fully in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, I, I can use my phone if this one is too. Maybe is uh, I always use it for my uh program. Is he's saying it's still low? Yeah, so he's showing some um, some yellow now, meaning he's back here. We are on white now, it's getting better. Yeah, but yeah, the signal was on red, so it was low. Let's let's just pray that God will take control. Amen. Continue, sir. You are good to go. All right, all right. So, so is a program that I want us to take serious, you know, and uh, receive all that God has for us mm -hmm. in, this, in this program. is not, you know, it's not just a carnal or fleshy program. There are many programs that just take care of our earthly things, but this is for our soul. Steadfastness in how we can get better and how maybe we have lost the fire and God mm -hmm. wants to rekindle. It's, it's practically a revival program. And I mm -hmm. bless the name of the Lord for as many of you that are here that your pastor you know actually has the mind you know to rekindle the fire of the Lord inside inside of you so so don't take it for granted I know somebody preached yesterday yeah. it today. somebody will do tomorrow so let's go back again and again and listen and uh, you know uh, watch whatever you know people will say and let's let's yield and 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 take care of our spiritual life you know today i was given the the the, the, the title to, to speak on uh press on and pressing to win christ press on and pressing to win christ please let me know if the team is going on yeah, so it's that better can... it's good better? all right you know press on and pressing to win christ and it's about steadfastness i i, I look at the word steadfastness you know and i see that it's firmly fixed in place firmly fixed firmly fixed so why are we talking about steadfastness? Why are we talking that we should be firmly fixed? Because the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, now the Spirit say, 
expressly say that in the latter times, some will depart from the faith. Let's see. So that is the reason why we need to be firm in faith. That is the reason why, you know, Pastor Bayo is bringing this program for us to be rooted, grounded, and firm in faith. Because in the last day, the Spirit say expressly, that is it's just like we are on the espresso, expressly, that in the latter time, some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits. They will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits. Guys, whether you like it or not, many are departing from the faith. And your pastor doesn't want you to depart from the faith. As many that are watching us online, wherever, God does not want us to depart from the faith. We've been learning about five ways to get prosperous, ten ways to get breakthrough, and we've been learning that forever and forever, you know. But what is eternal to our soul is when we remain firm. Also, I read a book, you know, a scripture in the beginning. That's, that's going to be my concluding part, you know. First Corinthians 15, you see. Many are departing from the faith. Mm. That is why you need to be firm in faith. You need to be firm in faith. You need not to be changing from here and there. You know, before I go, you know, I, I'm not Pastor K. I just, I want to sing a song, you know. This song says, More and more, Lord, lead me on. Lord, Lead me right on. Yes, Lord. I'm not satisfied with my state so far. Lead me on more and more. More and more. Lord, lead me on. Lord, lead me right on. Yes, Lord. I'm not satisfied yes, Lord. with my state so far. Mm. Lead me on more and more. Mm. A thousand miles I ain't just enough. Mm. Lord, lead me to another land. Mm. I've not preached enough. Yes, Lord. I've not prayed enough. Yes. I'm not holy enough. Oh, yes, Lord. Lead me on more and more. More and more. More and more. Lord, lead me on. Lord, lead me right on. Yes, Lord. Yes, I'm not satisfied oh, yes, Lord. with my state so my far. Lead me oh, on yes, more and more. Amen. Amen. A thousand miles. Mm -hmm. I ain't just enough. Yes, sir. Lord, lead me to another land. I've not prayed enough. Yes, Holy Spirit. I've Amen. not preached enough. Yes, Lord. I'm not holy mm -hmm. enough. Yes, Lord. Lead me more and more. More and more. More mm -hmm. and more. Uh -huh. Lord, lead me on. Lord, lead me right on. Yes, Lord. Let it go. Shut up. Lead my state so far. Yes, Lord. Lead me on. Yes, Lord. Lead me on. More and more. Lead me on. Hallelujah. I believe that is oh, the prayer. Thank you, Jesus. That God wants us to pray in this place. Thank you, Jesus. God wants us to do Thank more for him. Yes. I don't know the level you are now, but the Spirit is saying expressly that in the latter day, many shall depart from the faith. Many mm. are actually departing mm. to hold the forts 
to be steadfast is that to be conscious of what is making people to depart so that we will not be one of the statistics. That you will not join the statistics. That you will not be part of those people that are living. That is the purpose of the conference of steadfastness. That is the purpose. That is why God wants us. God wants you. God wants me. And I believe that before the end of this conference, you, you will, you know, you, you will reevaluate your life and you will refocus to what matters in life. I tell you, what matters in life. I was given some, some, some scriptures, and I'm going to read those scriptures, and I'll give you three or four points out of you know, what the Holy Spirit ministered to me before you know my time runs out. Philippians chapter 3, verse 10 to 4. Philippians 3. 10 to 4, that I may know him. I want you to know the background of this scripture. That's, that's the, the text I was given, you know, that I may know him. This is somebody talking here, that I may know him. Mm. And I want you to go and read the story of who is talking here, who is saying at this particular time that he may know him, that he wants to know him. The, this guy that is talking now, that say that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. And the fellowship of his suffering be made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I have already attained, neither were already perfect, but I follow after. If that I may apprehend that for which I also apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, brethren, Amen. I count not myself to have apprehended. Yes, sir. But this one thing I do, this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind me, whether success or failure, forgetting those things which are behind me, whether persecutions or trials, forgetting those things which are behind me, and reaching forth unto those things which are before, mm -hmm. I press towards the man. Hallelujah. I press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. This is the man that wrote three, three, three quarters of the, the, the New Testament, saying mm. that I may know him. Yes, Anytime I read this scripture, I say, do I even know him at all? Have I even started at all? If Paul at this day can say that I may know Mm. Yes, sir. We lost you again. Achievement in the faith. Mm. Can you guys hear me? Am I still on? Uh, you're back now. The network will disappear, then you're is coming back. Oh wow. I just pray that this thing will be stable in Jesus. He doesn't do like this. Just, <laughs> the devil is a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. But are you guys... Hey, now. Carry on now. Yeah, we can hear you, sir. Okay, okay. That I may know him mm -hmm. and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable. So the, the, uh, uh, Paul is saying that I may know him. You may know him. I don't know. Maybe you thought you have known him enough. We can know him more. Amen. And this is very, very important. He said, I cannot myself to have apprehended. But mm. this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are be behind me. Many of us, what makes us not to be steadfast is the failures of yesterday. The failures of yesterday, The so some of us is even the successes of yesterday. Mm. We are so successful about what God has used us to do that we think that, you know, we have done so much that we are losing the hold. We are losing the fault. We are losing. We are losing our stability because we are counting on what God used us to do yesterday. Paul said, I've not counted myself to have apprehended. Whether failure or success, I'm not counting it. He said, he said somewhere that I count all these things that are against to me as don'ts. They are not. What I'm pressing forward to that, that I may win Christ now, that I may do more for him. I won five souls yesterday. Instead of me giving the testimony we won so yesterday, two years ago, we did this. God said, no, you have more land to cover. You have more land to cover. Stop, let your failure or your success 
to hinder you from moving forward. Press on and press in. There is a prize of the high calling. Yes, sir. There is a prize for us. It's only those that press in and press on, steadfast and firm, not counting on their laurels of yesterday. Mm. But they are steadfast to do more for him. Saying that now, we have not done anything. We have not done anything. We need to do more. We need there are more land for us to cover. There are more so for us to want to win. Mm. There are more people that we need to reach out to. I've not counted myself to have apprehended. This one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind me, forget the testimony of yesterday. Hallelujah. There are many testimonies that are waiting for you right now. Amen. You won one so last year, double it this year. Don't let the lockdown lock your spirit down. Amen. Do not become complacent into the things of God because we are told. Let's rekindle your fire. Amen. Amen. Be steadfast in the things of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Whether we are locked down or locked in, the time is ticking. The time is counting. The time is counting. God is not, you see, you are, since we started this program, you just grow older. Five mm. minutes, ten minutes has added to your age. You are getting closer to the end of your life, whether you like it or not. We are getting closer. None of us is getting younger. Some, some minutes have just been added to your age. Whether you like it or not, it has been deducted for what you have to spend here. That is why there is no chance for us to waste time. Paul said, I press towards. There is a mark that you should press onto. There is a price waiting for us. Amen. There is a price waiting for us. Ezekiel chapter 47, verse 1 to 5. I will spare you that. You can read that because of my time. Ezekiel 47, 1 to 5. Was talking about how you can, you can start and gradually get to the place of overflowing. In your work with God. You don't need to retrogress. You don't need to go backward. You don't need to start with the Lord and you become lukewarm because you are now in America. Everything is easy. We have all the comfort. Ezekiel 47, verse 1, verse 1 to 5. 7. God, verse, 1 to, verse 1 to 7. God wants you to get to the place of overflowing. Amen. Whereby you overflow in his love, in his, in his compassion. You overflow in his zeal. His zeal consumes you. There's no how you can enter into a swimming pool you want to swim and you will not enter water. You will get to the point of the water will overwhelm you. Amen. And that's the level God wants us to take, God wants to take us to. The level that you can swim in steadfast. You can swim in standing your ground. Standing your ground. Standing your ground. That nothing will move you. You yes. become unmovable. Amen. Many things are moving people this end time. I mm. tell you. Some people, they are so used to what is happening to the extent that they lose focus of heaven. They lose focus of God. They lose focus of our eternity. They lose focus of where we are going. The Bible says, you know, what shall it profit a man to gain everything? You cannot even gain everything in this world. Mm. You cannot. If you have money today, somebody has money more than, more than you. If you build houses, 10, 10 bedrooms, some people have 50 bedrooms. So what are you carrying that uh, you think uh, you have arrived? Mm. You are not yet. Are you still pressing on? The question I want to ask you, are you still pressing on? Are you still pressing in or you have stopped? They know you before that you are an evangelist anywhere you are in the place of war. You can minister to people. You can start from sports and end with Christ. You can start with politics and end with Christ. In your discussion, you chip in. Are you pressing on? Are you pressing in or you have stopped? Another question I want to ask you, are you a number in God's kingdom or you are a member of God's kingdom? Are you a number? 
or a member. Some people are numbers. They just count you. You are a number. They are not, you are not doing anything for the kingdom. So when the church goes, hey, sister, this thing didn't come today. Oh, we didn't see her. You know, they add you to the number. But when they begin to see people that are effective, that are impactful, sister, this thing is not always there. Are you a number in God's kingdom or you are a member of God's kingdom? Mm. Are you just a number? They mm -hmm. add you to the number. We have 55 today. We have 60 today. Mm. Or you are a member that carries the burden of Christ, that carries the burden of the kingdom. That whether the pastor is there, whether anybody is there, you are consumed. Mm. The zeal of the house of the Lord consumes you. Yes, sir. Another question I want to ask you. Are you a pillar in God's kingdom or are you a caterpillar? Me. Are you a pillar or are you a caterpillar? Merci. Are you a number or are you a member? Many are caterpillars. They, there's not nowhere they are. The only thing that will interest them that when they talk about how to prosper, how to make it out of these things, you know, you know, anytime they are talking about the things of the kingdom, they switch off. Mm. They switch off. Are you a pillar? A caterpillar. Oh, a caterpillar. Forgive. <laughs> Brethren, after all said and done, mm. and you finish your race, I want you to ask yourself this one question. How big will your caskets be? How big will it be if you are not consumed with the things of the spirit? Mm. I tell people much, I say young people are dying, old people are dying, youth are dying, babies are dying. So anybody, anybody can die anytime. And we should teach you that this Christianity is not about I have this, I need this, I need this. So every conference that we do this, that's the only thing, the one that we that will prepare us, mm. prepare our mind and our heart to be steadfast, to be committed, to be dedicated for the zeal of the Lord to consume us. We we we, we push it aside, it doesn't concern us. After all, after all said and done, brother, mm. how big will your casket be? I'm not preaching death here. Mm. But is he as, will it be as big as your car? As big as your house? Or your bank account? That's, that's what you should be pushing you, whatever age you are. Somebody say, I'm so young. I'm young. I'm young. I just heard of 22 years old girl that died, a student here. She came here to school. And she went with her friends to do something, maybe go jump, bungee jumping or something, you know. And she died. She Let's couldn't see. go to the to the top of the mountain. They were coming by something, and she died. Twenty two years old. Jesus. She died a couple of weeks ago. Jesus. Brother, what we're saying is that let's refocus. Mm. Let's redirect our priorities. Mm. I tell you, you will get rich, you will marry, you will have children, you will have all those. But don't lose your focus. Don't lose your steadfastness in the things of God. That mm. is what will matter at the end of everything. Yes, sir. That's what will matter. Some people are so focused. No man is coming. Oh, I'm getting old. I'm getting old. While you are waiting for a man to come, be steadfast and, and, and re-energize yourself to do Amen. the thing of the master. Amen. I Amen. met my wife on the mission field. Many people thought that she cannot marry again. Her age, her, her, she's getting old. She's doing this thing. But you know what? She said, Marriage or no marriage, I will be steadfast in the things of the Lord. Hallelujah. And today we are in the mission field in Togo because she died dear to go there as a single woman to start the work of, and she met this wonderful man. Hallelujah. Even in the place of service, 
in the place of service, in the place of steadfastness. Amen. What are you looking for? What are you expecting? Is he a job? Is he a, is he a promotion? Is he a child? Is he a woman? Is, is he a wife or a husband? Be steadfast and refocus and put your energy into the kingdom. He Yeah, we lost you again. Hallelujah, we lost you. We lost the voice. Okay. Hello, you are back. Oh, okay. We think cut off a little bit, right? Yes. Oh, sorry. For how many minutes? <laughs> For sorry. about 30 seconds. So. 30 seconds. Yeah. All right. I don't know, maybe you guys heard what I said, but you know, I'm just saying it as it's true. So please. As you are waiting for the Lord, as you are waiting for Him. Hey, it happened again. Hallelujah. Pastor, we lost you. No voice. Hello, Pastor. Hello. Yes, yes okay. We lost you again. Come back, sir. Oh, Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way tonight. In the name of Jesus, we bind the, the network. We in command it to be to be good. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I don't know, maybe, I, maybe I should use my phone. I don't know. Maybe yeah. So you can. Uh, I don't know if uh, uh, Pastor K is there, so that we give you a minute to switch over. You want to switch no, no, over? I'm, switch I'm, I'm in the house. I'm in the house. I'm oh. not in the church. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I decided because I do my online program from the house, and it's always uh, good. Okay. Okay. You can switch to your phone while uh, Pastor okay. K plays a song. Or okay. if, yeah, or if Pastor K is not there, uh, okay. Sister Let Moses, can you sing a song? Let me switch, to switch over to another network better. All right. Let me, let me try the phone. I think the phone will be better. Yes, sir. All right. We are waiting for you to switch over. Okay. Yeah. Sister Moses, yeah. are you there? Pastor K, you are there. Sing for me, Sister Moses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Amen. Yes, your song, why pass us changing over the next one? You are here. Moving in the Sorry, excuse me. You are here. Moving in the Yes. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. Make a miracle work a promise. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Make a miracle work a promise. Keep light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here. Moving in our midst, I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. The in the midst. That's okay. That's okay. Lion, check it. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. If we are good to go, I can. Can you guys hear me? Ah, we can hear you now. Okay. Thank you, Sister Bosse. Thank you. God bless you. All right, you're back. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. I pray, I pray it will not go off again in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So, if, so if if you allow the things of this world to so much occupy your time and your life that you give excuses so much about everything, when it comes to pressing, pressing in and pressing on, 
into the things of God. <clears throat> I see people giving excuses. Oh, my job, my husband, my children, you know, my, my wife. You know, as much as I'm not saying that we should not take care of the things that concerns us, those things should not be hindrances to our steadfastness, our dedication and commitment to the things of Christ. Am I, am I on? Can you guys hear me? Hello? Right. Well, yes, I can hear you. Hello? We can hear you, go ahead. Can you? We can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you, sir. Okay. Am I breaking off again? No. A little bit. Am I breaking off? A little bit, not too much. But we can hear you. You said what? Hear you. It's You're good, crazy. sir. Yeah. We can hear you, is, sir. Is, is, the, is the voice clear? Your yes, voice clear. sir. What? Yeah, we can hear you. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Yes. Please, please let me know. Okay. Wow. So we should not allow anything to hinder us from pressing in and pressing on. Amen. In steadfastness. You see, how do we press in? How do we press on? How do we remain steadfast? How do we maintain our steadfastness in the Lord? Like I said, you no, know, I don't know. Maybe you know, I know, you know. We cannot allow what we're looking for, what we are expecting, to reduce our intensity in the things of the kingdom. We cannot become complacent. We cannot become, you know, no, no. Uh, 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 uh. We cannot begin to have uncare attitude mm. because of what we are expecting. As you are waiting on what you are believing heaven to supply to you, get occupied. Be occupied. Be occupied before your husband come, before your wife come, before you get pregnant. Occupy. Because if you do not put priority to the things of the kingdom, when all those things begin to come, those are the things mm. that will take you away from your steadfastness. Mm. My mm. husband, my wife, my children. No, Abraham and I and 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 and, and Sarai they was waiting for the Lord to bless them with the fruit of the womb, mm. and suddenly God remembered them, and gave them Isaac. Mm. I I know that probably because they wanted to turn Isaac to a god. Maybe the next time they should be in church, they say oh, we didn't sleep throughout the night. Isaac was just crying throughout. We mm. couldn't come to church. Pastor called them. Oh no, it's Isaac. Oh, it's Isaac. What happened? We didn't see you in Bible study. Oh, Isaac was well, just, no, Isaac, Isaac. And God said, eh, Isaac is now competing with me. Now take that same mm. Isaac. Take him and go and kill him. Because I am a jealous God. I want you to focus on me. I gave you those blessings as additions. They shall not, they should not be your focus. Mm. And many of us, those things that God has blessed us with, those are what those are the things that are taking us away from our steadfastness, for our dedication and commitment to the things of God. Our job, good job is good. But find time for the Lord. The Bible says, if you do not take it, I will come and take away your candle because you have forsaken your first love. Your first love, you are forsaking it because of this love of what you have now. The love of money, the love of the things of the world. You are forsaking your first love. And if you do not take care, I'm coming to take away your... I decree and I declare that mm. the Lord will have mercy upon us. He will not mm. take away our candlestick in the name of Jesus. Amen. How do we press on and press in to win Christ and maintain our steadfastness? Number one, you must be persuaded. Amen. Number one, you must be persuaded. Persuaded. Paul was persuaded. Are you persuaded? Are you still persuaded on your belief? Have you given up on your persuasions? 
because you got to this job and you met a guy, you met a girl, you met somebody that's trying to lure you and you are losing your persuasion. You must be persuaded to be Thank steadfast Jesus. and remain steadfast and maintain your steadfastness. You must be persuaded. Mm. You must not lose your persuasion about what you believe. Abusha. Many will come. Many will come with all diverse kinds of, 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 of doctrines. And they will tell you, many prophets, many pastors, they will come, they will look like, and they will want to shift your persuasion. You must be persuaded to Amen. maintain your steadfastness. You must be persuaded to remain, to press on and press in. Your persuasion must be intact. You must maintain your persuasion. Mm. Amen. Romans chapter 8, verse 35 to 39. Who shall separate us from the love of God? Shall tribulation mm. or distress mm. or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or salt as it is written? Romans 8, 35 to 39. For thy sake we are killed all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all this we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded. Let somebody say I am persuaded. I am persuaded. I am persuaded. Are you persuaded? I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angel nor principality nor power nor things present nor things to come nor hide nor death nor any other creature shall be able to take me away from the Lord. You must be persuaded. Paul was persuaded. You must maintain your persuasion. Don't let anybody shift your base. What you believe about God, about holiness, about righteousness, about steadfastness, about giving, about seed, do not let any charlatan take you away from your persuasion. Wow. There are many of them out there. You must be persuaded and you must remain persuaded. Number two, you must refuse to give up in the face of adversity. To maintain your steadfastness, you must refuse to give up in the face of adversity. Job refused to give up. Are you giving up? A little trial. A little test of your faith. Somebody called me today and we're talking and said, Pastor, I went through this. And I'm beginning to think that, why me? Why me? Oh, I, I'm I'm so I'm I'm so close to God. I'm so, and I said, did you did you not read your Bible? When the Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but it delivered them from all of them, and none of his bone is broken. Refuse to give up. How to maintain your step? If you refuse to give up in the face of adversity, many things the devil will orchestrate. Even God may orchestrate it to test our steadfastness. That was what happened to Job. You must refuse to give up in the face of adversity. Job refused to give up in the face of trial persecution, family challenges, family problems, or general problems of life. Are you giving up on your hope of heaven? In the latter day, many shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits or deceiving spirits. Telling you that because you're a Christian, you can't, you can't suffer anything. The, the, the road is easy. No, God did not promise us a free way. He didn't promise us express way. There will be bombs. There will be traffic. But you know, he promised that he would get us to the destination. So you must refuse to give up in the face of adversity. Am I still on? Is everybody listening? See, hearing me? <laughs> yes, sir. So what was number one? Anybody there? What was number one? You must be persuaded. You must be persuaded. You must be persuaded. Do not allow anybody to take your persuasion. I don't know what you believe God. I don't know what you trust God for. 
to maintain your steadfastness, you must be persuaded. Whether you are in Djibouti, whether you are in India, whether in Silicon Valley, in Africa, wherever you are, you must be persuaded. That was what said uh, 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 Paul. Say, I'm persuaded. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing will shift my ground. I am, but, but I, I remain firm. I remain firm. No man, no woman, no pastor, no prophet can come and tell me. No charlatan can come and tell me. I'm persuaded. So you must be persuaded. Number two. You anybody? must refuse to give up in the face of adversity. You must refuse to give up in the face of adversity. That is how to maintain your steadfastness. I'm not, God didn't promise on freeway. He didn't tell us that there won't be adversity, but he promised that he will take us, he will deliver us from all of them. And our boat will not be broken. So you must refuse to give up. Many people give up their persuasion. Many people give up their faith because of little trial. And you see, if there's no test, there's no testimony. There is no testimony. Job 13, 15 to 16. Job chapter 13, verse 15. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. But I will maintain my own way before him. He also shall be my salvation. He also shall be my salvation. Though Even though he slays me, yes, will I trust in him. I will not go away from him. I will, my steadfastness, my faith, will be intact. Job said, even I know my redeemer liveth. He said, I will wait until my change comes. I want somebody to wait till your, your change is coming. You need to wait instead. You need to be firm because your change is coming. Your change is coming. Do not move here and there. Do not shift your base. Do not shift your ground. Let your firmness be solidified in him. Even though he slays me, yet will I trust him. Job faced a lot of things. You know what? The testimony was the Lord prospered the end of June more than his beginning. He didn't shift base. He remained steadfast. Hallelujah. Number three. Number three, how to maintain your steadfastness. You must refuse to slow down. When you slow down, you die down. You must refuse to slow down. Many of us are slowing down because we thought we have achieved something. We thought we have done so much for the Lord. Paul said, I've not counted myself to have apprehended. I'm not slowing down. I'm pressing on. Many of us, we have not gotten there, but we thought we are there. Refuse to slow down, to maintain your steadfastness in the Lord, in the things of the kingdom. You must refuse to slow down. At times people tell you, slow down, slow down, slow A time is coming, naturally, the slow down will come. But while you see you are still in the, your youthful state, don't slow down. Do the one, because whatever you do, we go into, into what God we can for you. A grandma died, no, a grandma became born again at the age of 90. And they've been preaching to this woman long, long time ago. They've been preaching to her. They said, no, 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 no. So just when he clocked, she clocked 90, she gave her life to Christ. And uh, after she gave her life to Christ, she became born again, sanctified. She would go to church every day. And every day she's in church, she would be crying. She would be crying. And the kids will say, Grandma, why are you crying? Why are you crying? He said, you know, you're already a believer. Thank God. Thank God at your last this thing. You gave your life to Christ. She'll just be crying. And they asked grandma, she said, why are you crying? He said, hmm, you don't know anything. I've wasted time. Say, how can I be, where, can I go to mission field again now at 90? Will I be able to follow you guys for evangelism? Even if I want to go to, to, to prayer meeting, I can't go. Life has slowed me down. She was crying because she, the time that she's supposed to be agile and serving the Lord, she missed that opportunity, even though she will get to heaven. 
Yes. She missed the opportunity of the laurels, of the stars, of the crown yes. that she would have gotten yes. by her. We've been, been fervent and steadfast in the things of the... You cannot slow down, brother. You cannot slow down, sister. You have the capacity, mm. the ability right now. This is the time for you to be steadfast. This is the time for you to mm. do your best for the kingdom. A time is coming. Life will slow you down naturally. You don't have to slow down. Merci. Yes, sir. You cannot slow down. Mm. You cannot slow down. People tell me, Pastor Yemi, you do here, you do here. I say, you know what? Somebody called me yesterday. I'm supposed to have a meeting with somebody today. Immediately after this meeting, I'm supposed to have. He said, Pastor, you are doing so much. Please, you know, can we shift it? I say, did I complain? I'm not slowing down. Because whatever I do for the kingdom goes into the archives for me. A time Amen. is coming. Naturally, life will slow me down. But as long as I have this strength, I want to do my best for him. You are slowing down. Don't slow down. This is the time. This is the time. Mm -hmm. Remember now the Lord, your God, in the time of your youth. Yes, Do sir. your best for the kingdom now. Do your best for the kingdom. A time is coming life if you did not die before. Right? Not A time is coming life will slow you down. Don't slow down. Yes, sir. Refuse to slow down if you need yes, to maintain. Yes, your step further. refuse. Many people are slowing down. Ah. I can't do this. I, I can't do that. I said, I will have been on the mission field twice this year. Twice. Twice. If not for this season. Twice. Twice. So I'm, I'm really like, oh my God. I, I, I want, I want to. Because I know this is not the time for me to slow down. Yes, sir. I'm too young to slow down. I'm just 50. I'm just 54. I'm too young to slow down. Hmm. Too young to slow down. Don't let your success or your failure slow you down. Launch aggressively into the deep. Amen. Paul refused to slow down. Are you slowing down? Paul said, I've not counted myself to have apprehended. This one thing I do. This one thing I do. I press on. People that are pressing on and pressing, they don't slow down. You press, you wake up and press on. You do press up. Press up. Press up. Press up so that you can develop muscle. Mm. I'm pressing, I'm pressing in the kingdom. Time is going. You don't have all the time. Yes, sir. Why are you slowing down? Are you slowing down? Wake up. Wake up. Whatever you do for the kingdom now goes into the act, goes into the record for you. And the devil cannot erase that. Mm. Grandma was crying and they were saying, Grandma rejoice. He said, ah, you don't know. All these things you said are doing, I want to go to mission field with you guys. Mm. I want to do evangelism, but grandma can't do it. Why? Mm. You have the time now. Don't give excuses. Don't give excuses. Number four, which is the last one before I pray. For you to maintain your steadfastness and press on and pressing, refuse to be offended. Mm. Refuse to be offended. Offense becomes, guys, your pastor will offend you. Pastors, why will we offend you? You offend pastor. Your brother will offend you. Head of the department will offend you. Your sister will offend you. Your mother will offend you. Refuse to be offended. Mm. The offense of men can quench your spiritual fire. The offense of men can make you to be complacent. The offense of men can discourage you, disgrunt to you, make you to lack zeal and enthusiasm to continue in steadfastness. Refuse to be offended. Many people are offended and they leave their place of, of, of assignment. And God is saying, ha. Ah. Ah. So at the last day, you say, he talked to me somewhere. She called me name. Me, I don't take that. Too. I'm not M-U-M-U. -M -U. I'm not. You know, my, my, my man who born there, this thing. No. no. Is it because we are in church? You know? Is it because we are doing? No. You know, no, I can't allow that. Little yes. offense may keep people to lose Marcose. their focus in Christ. Mm. They lose their fire. They lose their dedication and commitment because somebody offends you. And you want to lose heaven because of offense? You want to lose the capacity, what you carry because of offense? What, what your, your generation, you know, your, 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 the whole it is waiting for your manifestation. You want to lose it because of offense. Brethren, offense will come. 
Offense because I tell people offense. I can even be preaching and my preaching is offending you. You are already mm -hmm. offended. Offense will come. Jesus refused to be offended by what men did to him. He refused to be offended. He was so focused on the task. He was so focused that everything people say does not budge him. He was focused on his goal of making it true. You mm. must focus on your goal. Amen. He was not distracted. Many of us are distracted. And the pastors were distracted. The way she was looking at me. The, the, and I said, that's that man. That woman. She's not close to the pastor. Anytime she will just look at you. Do you, why can't you just look straight? Look unto Jesus. That's what the Bible says. Looking unto Jesus. The author and the finisher of your faith. Don't look at anybody. Looking unto Jesus. I won't go to that church. Are you going to that church with some, for somebody? Will you lose your crown and your heaven because of offense? To maintain your steadfastness, pressing, press on, you must refuse to be offended. Offense will come. Even we, pastor, don't you know that we too will get offended? Don't mm. you know that a lot of members get you offended? If you want to get up, you won't go to church the next day. I won't even preach again. Your anointing will become annoyance. Mm. You get offended too. But see, we're so focused on this, you know, you know, you just rubbish. Just rubbish like this. Just do like this. You know? She doesn't want to look at my face. Hey, okay. I will greet her anyway. I'm looking on to Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking on to any man. The author and the finisher of my faith. Jesus was not distracted. He was not disturbed. He was not part of. He was focused on finishing the race and finishing strong. Are you offended? Many are offended by men. And by God, some people say, God, where, where was God when I was going through this thing? When was God when my son, this thing happened to him? Yes. Some people are offended. They are offended by, you know, by God. They are offended. Mm -hmm. See, I won't, won't become, I'm no more a Christian. How can this be your God? Mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 4. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud mm -hmm. of witness, let us lay aside every weight. And the sin we do easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shape, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sin and against him, lest ye be weary and faint in your mind. Yes, we have sir. not resisted unto blood, striving against sin. I conclude. Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my brethren, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hallelujah. Be unmovable. Be unmovable. Be unmovable. The four points that I gave to you today, how to remain, maintain your steadfastness in the Lord. Number one, you must be persuaded. Yes, Number sir. two, you Please must refuse to give up in the face of adversity. Number mm. three, you must refuse to slow Please down. Slow Do down. not slow down. Mm. Number four, refuse to be offended. Be I pray that the Lord, the Lord, you know, we enlarge this in, in your heart. You know, my life, our life, myself, and my is the life of testimony. Mm. What we are doing in the mission field, I tell you, I tell you what we have in stock right now that immediately. The, the air, they open the airline and this thing. I tell you, we're going to that village to be a blessing. Apart from what God is using, is doing in Antioch. We are so, we, we are taking more, more, more countries. Not only Togo, Burkina Faso, Mali, you know, Nigeria, you know. And we want to just do the more we can do and be steadfast until it come. I don't know, maybe, maybe I've minister, you know, uh, uh, something to you this afternoon, this, this evening. I just pray that the Lord will expand these words in your heart and you will not give up, you will be persuaded, you will not be offended, and you will keep the fire burning. The Lord bless Hallelujah. you. And the Lord continue to increase Amen. you, anoint you freshly in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you so much. Come on, people of God. Let's 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 celebrate the Lord Jesus Christ tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's stand together Amen. for the man of God. Let's appreciate God. Let's appreciate God. Let's appreciate God.
The Lord is good. The Lord is good. God is good. I, 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 I believe. I believe. I have been blessed. I don't know about you, but I'm blessed tonight. Now, yeah. these four things that you need to do to maintain your steadfastness, to press on in Christ, that has been revealed to us. And I want you to know by the grace of God that, and I, and I love the last point that Pastor came up with. He said, refuse to be offended. One yes. of the things that the Bible said that and many shall be offended in the last days. An offense is keeping a lot of people away from God. Offense is making a lot of people to lose their steadfastness in Christ. To continue in their war. We are going to pray, people of God. I want us to pray quickly. Before we pray for the servant of God, I want you to pray according to this word you have heard. Now my prayer back up, please unmute yourself. I want everybody to say after me, my father, my father. My father, my father, my father. Thank you for the word you have brought me tonight. Thank you. Thank, for thank you for the word you have brought me tonight. Lord, I receive the grace and the strength to press on. Lord, I receive the grace to press on. I receive the grace to press in. I receive the grace to press in. And to win Christ by all means in the name of Jesus. To win Christ by all means in the name of Jesus. My father, my father. My father Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of, in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to press on Lord, <laughs> Views one of them to be offended, no matter Jesus what happened. Amen. 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 Your faith, your belief, is it because of marriage? Many years ago, as a young, as a young Christian, young boy, as a teenager, I was still in secondary school, and one of our brothers in the church, he stopped coming to church. Mm. And the elders, my mother was one of the elders in the church, so they decided to go and see, bro, why are you not coming to church? He said, I, I don't understand what you people are talking about. That I, I cannot marry anybody. You see, you people would not allow me to marry who I want to marry. I am going to pick my wife. Mm. But unfortunately, when my mother and, and the elders of the church came, this way lady that just came out of the house was fetching water. She, she tied her power on her chest. So I'm just saying, okay, bro, if the reason why you are not coming to church is because uh, we, the church says you cannot do anything, okay, you have mentioned you, you have married, say yes. Can you can you bring the sister? Let us greet her. <laughs> so when he said bring the sister, he said you, you have seen her. <laughs> so he thought that the sister is inside. <laughs> but my parent thought that the lady that they saw that was uh, fetching water, they thought it was the house help. And then the pastor said, uh, "Where is the sister?" He said, uh, "The lady you saw that is fetching water. That that is the that is the wife." The pastor did not know when he said, oh, is it because of that thing that you refuse to come to church for me? <laughs> <laughs> many people, many people are going to lose their faith, their persuasion because of some things that what you think matters to you, other will see it and it's going to be like Ichabod, it's nothing. You know, when, when the king of Israel gave, gave city to the king of Syria, he said, he said, what is this that you have given me? He said, it is Kabul. Kabul in Hebrew means it is nothing. Many of us, we are losing our persuasion because of nothing. You are going to pray the second prayer. I want you to say after me, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father. My father. My father. Separate me from your love, O oh God. 
Let me lose my belief from your love. I believe in you. Because of a man or a woman, I'm you in the name of Jesus. I'm to maintain my steps. I'm to continue to love, Lord. I'm to love, Lord. I'm to love, Lord. I'm going to love, Lord. I'm going to love, Lord. I'm Amen. But I discovered that, like Pastor was saying, people can also be offended in God. Do you remember the story of John the Baptist? He was expecting Jesus to come and deliver him from the prison. The man who once said, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world, he was persuaded. Behold the man who once said, The one that is coming after me, who should lash it, I am unworthy to unlose, to lose. He was persuaded in his faith initially. But he was expecting Jesus to deliver him from prison, and Jesus did not show up. He told his disciples, go and ask him, oh, Leka, my yadada, are you the Messiah that we're expecting, or we should expect another one? Yea. John, where was your persuasion when you said I was the Lamb of God? John, where was your persuasion when you said I must increase and you must decrease? The same way many of you, you have said some great things about God. That's why I'm always, I'm always worried of people who come to church and say, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, this church is my Jerusalem, I am not going anywhere. I have, I have seen 80%, I'm not telling you like, people who said that, they are the ones that leave the church at the end, at the, at the slightest provocation and offense, they leave. I've been in ministry Get for offended. a while, I've seen things, sir. I have seen people who said that. So when people be... Uh, can you hear me, people of God? Yeah, it's, right. it's there. It's good. The devil is a liar. My, 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 my computer just went off. But whether the devil like it or not, we shall continue. <laughs> you will Amen. hear me through another means. Amen. 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 Can, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes, yes sir. Yeah, 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 so, yes, John, John, Jesus said, go and say unto John what you have seen. The blind see, the lame walk. And Jesus said, blessed are those who are not offended in me. This is the last mm. prayer point you are going to pray for yourself. You are going to say to God, my father, my father. My father, my father. Every way that I've been offended in you, forgive me, Lord. Any way that I've been offended in you, forgive me, Lord. I've been offended. Any way that I've been offended, offended, oh God. Any way that I've been, been, been offended, oh God. Because of what I'm going to do, oh God. Because of what I'm going to do, oh God. Because of what I'm going to do, oh God. Because of what I'm going to do, oh God. Because of what I'm going to do, oh God. Because of what I'm going to do, oh God. Because of what I'm going to do, oh God. Because of what I'm going to do, oh God. Because of what I'm going to do, oh God. Because of what I'm going to do, oh God. Because of what I'm going to do, oh God. Because of what I'm going to do, oh God. Because of what I'm going to do, oh God. Because of what I'm going to do, oh God. Because of what I'm going to do, oh God. Because of what I'm going to do, oh God. Because of what I have Jesus, mercy, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Blessed Lord. be your holy name. Thank Amen. you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 People of God, I want us to pray for the servant of God. If you have been blessed, come on, let me hear you shout hallelujah. 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 I want you to go ahead and just stretch forth your hand to the man of God and pray that the Lord will bless, the Lord will increase him, the Lord will perfect that which concerns him in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's ask God for fresh grace upon his life, fresh Amen. grace upon his Amen. family, Amen. fresh Amen. grace upon the work that God has given unto him, Amen. that God Amen. is surrounding him with faithful Amen. and loyal men Amen. who will stay steadfast with him in this world in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.
Pastor, we want to we want to thank God for you tonight. Uh, we thank God for you bringing us a timely word. Uh, and, and, and I love one of the things that you said. Don't allow the lockdown to lock down your spirits. <laughs> a lot of people, because of the lockdown, their spirit has been locked down. Mm. Their soul has been locked down. They have become discouraged. They are weary and weary of life. But God mm. is bringing you this word tonight from the mouth of the servant of God. It is time for you to wake up, brace yourself, yeah. and wake down the sleepless. For the yes. Lord will give you like a wake out of your sleep, a wake out of your slumber. Fall yeah. in love with Jesus once again. You are going to see God do great and mighty things through you and Amen. in your life in the name of Jesus. The blessing Amen. is coming. I'm telling you, when we keep at it, yes. we see that the thing he has called us. Yea, faithful is he who has called us and who also will do. He will surely bless you, sir. He will surely yes. bless you. Let yeah. nothing separate you from the from the love of Christ. And you know, like I said, I, I, I was sharing something yesterday, Pastor, before we round up. I, I, I've forgotten the name of this man of God that came to your church in 2013. Mm. I, I've forgotten whether his name is Pastor. Is he Towo or Towo? A tall man of God like this he used to be in deeper life. That he, he, they, they had an accident. In, uh, uh, uh. Do, do you remember that? Oh. Yes. Can, can you tell us okay. what happened to this yes. man of God and how he navigated Pastor. himself? Why is this to no love? The, you know, which one is the day? Um, is it I, I think the pastor used to be in deeper life before. Is it Ademola? He came to preach in your church in 2013 or so. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Pastor, um, uh, I forgot his, he actually, he lost his wife. And and two daughters in in a in a car accident. The same day, you know, the same mm. day, the same day, you know. I think the daughter, one of the daughters, is, is, is a Messi. medical student. Is a medical student, you know. I think the driver, both the driver, the wife, and the, you know, and the man is still a pastor. Uh, I forgot yeah. his I forgot his name. His name. He's, he's still he's still in the faith now. He's still, he's still, he's still moving on in the faith. You know, when he came and he, you know, he shared the testimony with us, so mm. many people are crying. You know, for you to lose your wife and your daughters, I think mm. the driver too died. You know, and they just came to him, and and he was in the house, and they wanted to go. I think they went to pick the one of the daughters from school, and they were coming. They had accident. That's how he he lost his wife and them and and. And two daughters and and the driver, but you see, and he, but he was he was persuaded about mm. about his faith. He still he still a past. He did not, even when he came. Some of us were just like, well, I'm like, okay, what kind of grace mm. does he have to actually? He still steadfast. He's still moving around doing the work. Yeah. The ministry is still going. Many people we they will mm. just be depressed. And and I know his grace. I know his grace. But you see, like I said, you no. Know, Many are the affliction of the righteous, but God will give us mm. the capacity, the ability to be able to mm. endure, you know, and be able to come out victoriously. Even though those people they have gone, he knew that definitely they are they are, they are, they are with the Lord, and he will not allow that to stop him from firing, from going on to do the work. Many people will leave the mm. faith, many people will leave the church, say, I'm a pastor. Why will my wife die? I'm a daughter, a medical doctor, and all this. But you see, but it's still an encouragement to so many. Anyway, ministers, you know, people are still getting saved. So whatever Thank we're you. going through or whatever we go through, let us maintain our steadfastness and Amen. let me persuade them that neither Amen. life nor death, nor the things to yes, come, sir. nor the things that we are going yes, to, sir. shall separate yes, us sir. from the love of Christ. Amen. 
Appreciate Pastor. Thank you so much. Come on, people of God, let's put our together for the Lord Jesus. Let's celebrate Pastor Amen. Yemi. You've had that testimony. No matter what you are going through, let nothing separate you from the love of Christ. It's amazing yeah. you see a lot of people when they come from Africa, before they came there, they are fasting, they are praying, they yes. are missing holiness. The moment you come mm. to America, you think you have entered to Jerusalem, you have entered to paradise, you lose your faith, you don't mm. go to church anymore. Your lifestyle mm. has changed. We don't know whether you're a Christian or you're a believer. Your makeup is more than that of Jezebel. Forgive. And now, now, I, I, I tell you, what is the thing that is going to separate you from the love of Christ? Is it offense? Is it death? You have had the word mm. of God. And I pray that is why we said this conference is not a conference for people to come and receive, bless me, yes, breakthrough. We breakthrough we come, whether you like yeah. it or not. You maintain your steadfastness. You keep loving God. Pastor said something. He said, don't stop what you are doing for God. People are going to offend you. People are going to, what is your persuasion? Refuse to give up in the face of adversity. Come on. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Refuse to slow down. Be encouraged in the midst of this lockdown. Do more for God. Do more. Mm. Do more. Pray more. Fast more. It's yes. an opportunity for you to have retreat, personal retreat. Some of you, since you came to this country, when you are in Nigeria, you will fast two, three times in a week. Some of you, you go to the mountain. But since you came to America, you see enjoyment. No more mountain. Your mountain is food every day. You cannot mm. fast anymore. Forgive us, Lord. But I tell you something. God is bringing back your faith. The reason this world is coming to you is because God is rekindling the fire in you. Come on now. God is rekindling the fire. God is setting you ablaze. He's commanding you, wake up, son. Come back to your first love. Come back to your first walk. Do the first yes. walk. Do the first love. And the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Pastor, we are so grateful once again. On behalf of Jesus, our Silicon Valley, we want to really appreciate God for your life and for this time you spent with us. And we pray that this word will keep ringing and this fire will keep burning. We will find a flame Amen. and we will never allow the lockdown to lock down our spirit and our anointing. And the Amen. Lord will bless you all in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. So before Amen. we sign out and say goodbye, uh, is there anybody here, you have any, any question for the man of God or you have anything to say before we share the grace? Thank you, Jesus. And if there's nothing, if there's nobody have any word, we want to say thank you. I uh, want to thank all our brethren on those on Facebook Live. We thank God for your life. We bless God for what you're doing. And thank God for our brother Amos all the way from England. It's, you know, it's midnight over there. Some people from England, some people from the East Coast, from Africa. Thank you for logging on and being part of this conference. And I pray the blessing that is upon us here will also flow through you and to you through Jesus, this airwaves in the name of Jesus. And the love of God in your life will be rekindled. Amen. The fire of God in your life will blow one more time. And you will see and do great Amen. and mighty things in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Tomorrow Amen. is another day. Get ready because God has prepared a feast of fasting for you on the, on the leaves full of marrow, full of juices. And God is going to bless you. Amen. And God is going to reward you abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. You want to give your offering, your tag, go ahead and do it. Give me five Google Pay. Use the rccgjhsv2013 at gmail.com. You want to sow a seed towards the man of God. You want to give something, go ahead and do it and put a memo for the servant of God and the Lord will bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. amen. God amen. bless you. Uh, Dr. Kole Olubumo called me immediately after the service. The Lord bless you. Shall we Shall we share the grace of God together? One to go. May the oh, grace yes. of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you. I love you. Remain steadfast. Remain unmovable. Tell your neighbor, no shaking. Stand your ground. Let that be your slogan during this conference. Tell yourself. Yes, but today, everybody, unmute yourself. Tell your neighbor, tell your wife, tell your husband. Say what? No shaking. No shaking. Stand your ground. Stay fast. Don't give up. Stay unmovable. Don't give up. Be unmovable. 
in in africa and here in california in jesus mm -hmm. name shalom mm -hmm. everybody mm -hmm. and good Thank night you. i see good you night. tomorrow good good night, night, good night. Good night. Good night. God log me off and thank god for what he has done hallelujah amen amen, amen. god bless you god bless you, you. god bless good you night. good night to everyone good night, good night. Good yeah god bless, god bless you God bless the Father, Amen. God bless you, Dr. Chica, God bless you, the Abutus, Rocky, every one of these BC. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Thank you all. God Amen. bless you. God bless you. you. See you tomorrow in Jesus' name. Shalom. Bye. Amen.